शांति शांति ओम गॉड फ्रॉम अनरियल टू द रियल फ्रॉम डार्कनेस टू लाइट फ्रॉम डेथ टू इमोटालिटी ओम शांति 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 ओम पीस 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 बी एंड टू अस ऑल नमस्ते नमस्ते वेलकम टू योगा फॉर हेल्थ हैप्पीनेस एंड लिबरेशन आई एम पार्वती ऑफ द शिवनंद योगा सेंटर ऑफ डेलवेयर and i have a message today a little bit of hindu philosophy and swami shivananda the founder of the yoga center in delaware has a daily reading here for us about dharma or righteousness it is the gateway to god vision he tells us righteousness is a means of climbing the difficult steps of the spiritual path dharma presupposes the knowledge of the truth divine life is dharma A perfectly moral and ethical life is dharma. It is that which leads to the bliss of nirvana, the immortal being. Dharma is the way in which you have to divert your spiritual life to the supreme spiritual end. What does dharma do? It controls the pulse of a nation and world and sustains a being in evolution. Dharma or righteousness is religion in the highest sense of the term. Eternal law on which the universe rests and by which the universe is governed is based on dharma as well as the welfare of mankind righteousness is the highest wealth and rule of life righteousness everything is established or rooted the main feature of dharma lies in refraining from doing unto others what one would not do unto oneself i think we've all heard that before one of the golden rules of all religions and faiths compassion liberality truthfulness purity self restraint and tolerance are the ingredients of dharma tread the path and you will get happiness along with freedom you can secure real joy and glory of life that which helps you in your spiritual evolution is right that which obstructs and hinders your spiritual evolution is wrong swami shivananda tells us that which leads to unity of self is right and that which leads to separation is wrong to do good to others to serve and to help others to give joy is right to give to pain to others and to injure others is wrong again the golden rule do as you would be done by do unto others as you wish others to do unto you this is the secret of dharma and today's message This is the secret essence of karma yoga also. Dharma will lead you to the attainment of eternal bliss. Hari Om. And I'd like to introduce you to Yogi Bharat Gajar, founder of Swami Shivananda Yoga Center in Delaware. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bharati. Today's message <coughs> first I want to find out how much you know about <coughs> ghost okay today's uh, talk is about ghost now do you believe in ghost uh <clears throat> now have you experienced ghost okay so this is important thing uh to know because they are there and i didn't know well, a few years ago there are ghost but in the process i i learned that yes there are ghost and <clears throat> so we we will explain <coughs> how it uh, they come into being are they any different so let's let's first talk about w- are they exist yes now when we bought first i'll tell you a story when we bought shivananda yoga center our building on Maine Bainer Boulevard <coughs> uh the lady died and then it was we sold we bought the building through the bank and then we when we moved in it was a house the first floor we had our center second and third floor we rented but every mo- every time i go there to clean or fix everything i could feel there was somebody else there and that is the first time 
I became very aware that ghost was there. <coughs> now, so we talk about then what happened that uh, we started chanting and a prayer and meditation and when I realized then we prayed for this person, this ghost, to leave. Uh, we made it free, that person to leave. Uh, in, in my mind it was that lady who died was there in the spirit. Now many Catholic priests do this uh, ceremony to get the ghost out of human beings. Now how they get in? So we'll talk about that. I will explain <coughs> how the ghost come about and so forth. Before we go into, I must review the basic philosophy, uh, Hindu philosophy, even Western philosophy, is, it's very similar, okay? Just look at this here. This is earth, this is astral plane, and then beyond is spiritual plane. There are three basic places. Earth, astral plane, and spiritual plane. Earth and astral plane are not real, really. Hindu beliefs is they're not real. They're made by God, but they are like a dream. And and it, it, they are not, they are real, but ultimately they're not real. Okay. <coughs> now, when you come on the earth, it was your decision to come, not God's decision. But <coughs> God allow you to come here. <coughs> then, in the astral plane, there is a heaven and there is hell. Now, does heaven and hell exist? Well, I didn't know that. I didn't believe that there was hell. Why God wants to punish anybody? So, then I he looked into Bible, Lord Jesus says, yes, there is a hell and you don't want to go there because if you go there, it's very hard to get out. <coughs> then I said, let me find out if Lord Buddha believes in uh, hell. Yes, he says in his book, <coughs> scripture says, <coughs> Yes, there is hell. And once you get in, it's hard to get out. So don't get in, be good, do good things, and so forth. Then I said, the Lord Krishna, in Bhagavad Gita, Hindu scripture, says everything. <clears throat> Seven times in Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna mentioned hell. But he says, I don't want to talk about that. I just want to tell you the right thing, what you should do not to get there. Now, so, <coughs> but does <coughs> heaven and hell exist? Yes, they exist. Now, <coughs> if you go in a heaven, is it temporary or permanent? Christianity believes, I do not know much, but I know for sure, heaven and hell are permanent. If you are dragged into hell, you stay there for eternity and burn forever. You are punished forever. <clears throat> now, if you go in heaven, you stay there with the Lord forever. And Christian churches says, if you are baptized, you are given permission to go to heaven and live with the Lord. Regardless what you do, if you do wrong thing, you will be forgiven if you ask forgiveness. Okay. So that is Christian philosophy. Hindu philosophy says God, uh, this is karmic. Karma means whatever you do, it will come back to you. Now, <coughs> Hindu scripture says heaven and hell both are temporary. <coughs> and I have figured out one thing out that heaven and hell 
are both a, a heaven is a good dream and hell is a bad dream. It is dream. It's not the real thing. A person who does wrong thing, who who torture people, think about killing and this thing and that, they are dragged into a bad dream. It's just like <clears throat> if a person watches this television show where they're killing and let other person bleed to death and torturing and enjoying, then they have a nightmare. Eh? <laughs> they're nightmare. And then they blame God. God, oh, you, uh, why do you give me this bad dream? Huh? <laughs> God said, I didn't do a thing. You, you watch all these things. You deserve it. Don't ask me. I didn't give you bad dreams. It is you have created this nightmare and you deserve it. Okay? Same thing. A person lives bad life. <coughs> Torture people, killing people. Men like Saddam Hussein who tortured thousands of people. Well, now when he dies, I hope he doesn't get that. But he might have a bad dream. It's like hell. <coughs> Constantly being tortured. So whatever you do will come back to you. No question about that. You just look in the Bible. It says the same thing. Whatever you do, it will come back to you. <coughs> now, if you want to, what is the objective in life then? In life, you want to come out. <coughs> when you die, you go in astral plane and you come back. Then you die, go in astral plane and come back. Come back again and again and again. That's called karma. Why you come back? Because you want to come back. God doesn't say. At the time of death, you just say, Oh Lord, I, what can I do? My wife is here, all this money. I like to... I like to have a nice hamburger at uh, McDonald's, but I'm dying. God said, this guy he wants to come back to the world, send him back. He wants to go to McDonald's, have some uh, hot dog or whatever. So get, send him back. Because there is a desire. So Lord always fulfill your desires. So you come back. That's it. Okay, now, <coughs> we come to the ghost in a few minutes. Now, if you want to come out from the circle of life, <coughs> then you, <coughs> you don't go, don't ask for heaven. Nobody asks for hell. Just ask to merge with God. And then you live with the Lord <coughs> in the spiritual world forever and don't come back. That is called moksha. That is the objective. Hindu says, ask for moksha. Eternal. Become God again. Part of God again. If if a drop of if if ocean God is ocean, you are drop of water. The drop of water wants to be in the ocean again. Okay. Now, so you feel like you are separated. You're not separated from God. That's Maya, <coughs> illusive. This energy, material energy, make you forget the whole thing, who you are. You forget. That's why you do meditation, other things. Okay, <clears throat> now let's go back to the ghost. If a soul comes and that soul <coughs> is supposed to be on this earth for 95 years, but the age of, at the age of 85, he's so miserable, suppose he killed himself. Huh? Suicide. It's called suicide. <coughs> now, he's not supposed to leave this material world ten more years to go he was supposed to die 95 <coughs> so what will happen the Lord will not allow him to go in the astral world so <coughs> he has to stay on the material plane now every person has three bodies spirit soul this gross body which you can see, an astral body. So when a person dies, the soul 
go with the astral body goes and live in the astral plane. See, in the material world, you need material body and astral body. But in an astral plane, you need astral body and the spirit. Spirit is part of God. <coughs> so <coughs> that is, you have to have. Now, a saint, saint don't have astral body, just physical body, temporary. And when they die, they merge become God again. They, they merge with the spirit soul. They merge with the, in the spiritual world. They, they, they don't go to heaven. Heaven is temporary. When your good karma finish, you back on earth again. And you cannot go to the moksha from <coughs> astral plane. <coughs> you must come on a material world to, to be liberated to go and become one with the Lord. So, this is the reason Swami Shivananda said, this material body, your existence in this material world is very important because from here you can reach to Lord. You can be one with the Lord. This is the place to be and don't waste it. Take advantage of every minute and now, <clears throat> Let's go back to the ghost again. The guy kills himself at the age of 85 when he's supposed to live until 95. Now he cannot, the no, Lord will not allow him to go in a, even astral world. He has to stay on the material world. Now he has no body, but he has same desires. If a guy is drunkard, he used to drink, like, let's say, one, 10, 20 beers a evening. Now he kills himself at the age of 85. Now 10 years he has to live on the earth, but he has desire to drink. So what do they do? They walk around like a ghost. That is the ghost. Stay there. <coughs> it has a soul and an astral body. When a guy gets drunk, okay, this, this ghost, gets into his body and enjoys drinking <laughs> because this drunkard is drinking, he's enjoying the drinking through his body. This is what Catholic Church believes that. And this is the reason. Every time you, you sneeze, they say, may God bless you. Because when there is a vacuum, the ghost can get in. Well, I'm not kidding you. This is, this is exactly. If you, if, I, if you don't believe me, go ask somebody. Sure. This is the reason. When somebody uh, sneezes, he says, May God bless you. Because when God's name comes, the ghost cannot get in your body. So, now I didn't know about that. You know? So I tell you a story. This, in Dupan, I used to work in a Dupan company. And this guy, <coughs> Uh, every time I uh, sneeze or something, he would say, May God bless you. And I said, Oh, thanks, Bob. But when he sneezed, I didn't know. I have no habit of telling, May God bless you, because I didn't believe it. I didn't know what it was. So I didn't say anything. In India, we don't say anything. You know? So anyway, he, 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 when he sneezed, then he get upset. So and I knew that this guy is getting upset every time uh, <coughs> he sneezed. And he expect me to say, "May God bless you," but I said, "I don't. We don't say that." So I had another friend. So I, I said, "Hey Jim, what's happened? The, wh wh tell me. This Bob, every time he sneezes, uh, then then he wants me to say, "May God bless you," or something. Because if I don't say anything, I see him get agitated. He said, "Well, because I'm telling you." But when there is a vacuum, the ghost get in, and then and then it's hard to get and get him out. I said, I didn't know that. Okay. So every time Bob then uh, 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 sneeze, I said, Bob, may God bless you. He was very happy. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> one time we we announced uh, uh, in Dupal Company that I'm going to teach meditation. Then Christian churches. Uh, group came and told our uh, management that 
you cannot teach meditation because it creates vacuum. And when you create a vacuum, the, the, the ghosts get in. Meditation is no good. So they called me, our uh, management. He says, what do you have to say about that? I said, listen, I don't know about that thing. I, I said, I think we, we, we just teach meditation. And meditation is accepted by the uh, uh, medical uh, you know, groups. So it is a common thing. So he said, well, go ahead and teach. I said, well, okay, because I don't know about this thing. <clears throat> anyway, but see, in, in Western philosophy, more emphasis is given on prayer, which is fine. Meditation in India, more Hindus meditate, more meditation than prayer. But both are fine, you know. So nothing wrong with it. <coughs> it's the philosophy. But do ghosts exist? Yes. Do they get in? Maybe. I have never seen anybody get in. But uh, uh, the Catholic uh, priests do these things. If if somebody says, oh, I got a ghost in me, I can do a problem. So they do some special ceremony with the cross and, and they get him out. Anyway, <coughs> so think about, ask people, learn about these things. But ghosts are there. But one thing. Hindu believes there is a great sin to kill yourself. As the worst thing a person can do is to kill oneself. Okay. So, so don't think about killing yourself. Okay. If you have some pain, that is, we take some medicine. But whatever pain you are supposed to get, that's all karmic thing. We have to accept and burn all the bad karma now with this body and always surrender to God. <coughs> so that's another issue. We, <coughs> we talk about that. But I have to tell you one more story. In DuPont Company, this guy he believed that uh, this guy is a little different. That's me. Uh, but he had a problem. So he said, Bharat, uh, Bharat, I want to talk to you. I said, okay. He said, well, my, my father is... Uh, uh, my daughter, uh, he harassed my daughter. He's in spirit. Uh, so I said, oh, gee, okay. Uh, I, I gave uh, Swami Shivananda's picture, and I said, put in a, and say, Om Namo Bhagavati Shivananda. And I gave the picture, and I said, put it on a uh, beauty dress or a decent. She said, she did it. Within one week, the ghost uh, father, his grandfather, gone. Oh, he was so happy. He said, oh, that guru is fine. I said, okay, thanks. I said, <clears throat> then he retired and went to Florida. Then he called me up from Florida. He said, listen, I want to come see you. I said, oh, okay, come. So he came down. He said, give me a picture of that guy with a bald head. I said, Swami Shivananda? He said, yes, my, my daughter-in-law is crazy. It looks like the ghost has got in there. But give me that picture. I want to put it in, in uh, on, on a beauty dresser and pray. And he, he works every time. Uh, so you saw how, uh, his picture. Uh, so <clears throat> I saw, So I gave him a picture of my prayer book. I said, Swami Shivananda is a great saint of saint, saint, saint of India, and he he, <coughs> he comes and help you. No question about that. So I don't know. Then he left with uh, Swamiji's picture and my other prayer book, and he was very happy. I hope. I uh, I hope that the thing helped too. But remember, today's message. Only message is to kill oneself is the greatest sin, and that brings pain. Okay? It's no no good. Every religion says that. In India, uh, suicide is very very little. Because people are told, you <coughs> you should not kill yourself as a karm <coughs> karmic thing. So remember, okay, and tell your children, ghost is a good thing, fine. Uh, but, and if there is a ghost, <coughs> pray for that ghost. And, <coughs> and make sure that ghost lives and make them freedom. But your prayer is very powerful. 
your prayer will work uh, if you uh, get this ghost to leave and make make him free or her free uh, with your prayer so prayer is very powerful thing okay thank you so much for watching this show